In this lecture, we will go ahead to create our first Next.js application. So quickly within the desktop, we are going to create a new folder called Next Cause. You can decide to name the folder whatever you like, but make sure the name is descriptive to define the intention of the project. Sounds good, right? Beautiful. Now quickly open up the VS Code. So let's drag and drop the folder right into the VS Code. Perfect. So we just have to say yes to this and then close down the sample page. Maximize the VS Code. Let's quickly open up the VS Code integrated terminal. Do that with a shortcut control backtick. And for sure, the backtick is located at the top left corner of the keyboard, right below the escape key. Command B to close down the explorer. And I want you to see everything that we are gonna do here. So let me increase. Okay, now it is fine. To create a next project, all you have to do is mpx create dash next dash app at latest. So this will help install the latest version of Next.js. Give it a space and then dot slash. So this will have it installed in the directory next cause, which is the directory we created earlier on. Hit on the enter key to get it fired up. Will you like to use TypeScript with this project? So we are going to say yes. And to choose the options, you are going to use the tab key over here, the left arrow key or the right arrow key. So you can switch between yes or no. Okay. So let's keep it yes. Hit the enter key and it says, would you like to use ESLint with this project? Of course, yes. And um, again, would you like to use Staywind? Yes. Let's keep it yes. And it says, would you like to use SRC directory with this project? And um, for now, I don't think we would like to use that. So let's keep to no. Would you like to use the app router? Yes. Would you like to customize the default import alias? Of course, we need the alias simply because it is a shortcut that allows you to refer to a module or file using the custom name instead of its full path. Okay, so it is needed. Yes. I said, what import alias would you like to configure? Let's just hit the enter key and have it installed. The installation is ongoing. And here, I just have to stretch it out a little bit so you can see everything. Good. Next, JS installed successful. So now I'm going to do npm run dev. This command will start up the development server on localhost port 3000. Hit the enter key. So when you hover on localhost port 3000, you will see the follow link. Click to open on the browser. And here is the landing page of the Next.js application. It looks beautiful. Now we are done with Next.js installation. In the next lecture, we will go ahead to unveil the boilerplate. Let me show you Command B to open up the Explorer. And right within the Explorer, we are going to unveil all of these packages and files that you can find over here. So this is all for now. Do all well to hit the like button. Make sure to subscribe and see you in the next lecture.